soon. Are you ready to make some food bars? If you're like me, you need something to carry around that you can eat during an emergency blood sugar crash. I like to make my own bars and I like to make them high protein, high in good fat and um, uh, low glycemic, so very low in sugar. We start with about two cups of sprouted sunflower seeds. I try to get all of my ingredients organic if I can. And how you sprout any seeds and nuts, you will soak them in double the amount of filtered water as the seeds and nuts. And they will expand a little bit. They'll start to open and you'll see usually a little tail uh, come out. And um, we've got some little, this one's been sprouting in my fridge after the initial overnight soaking and draining. And they're all kind of popped open and they have little tails and they're all sprouted and live. So what I'm going to do is add these to about two cups of really hot water. Um, just so that we can get the chia seeds and the flax seeds we're going to add to it um, ready to be kind of sticky. So they'll be your binder. So the two cups here of sprouted sunflower seeds, we have a quarter cup of chia seeds and a quarter cup of flax seeds. This will all go in the Vitamix and we'll blend it until it's fairly smooth. It's still somewhat watery because we're going to be adding some powdered ingredients to it. But what we have is just kind of a, looks sort of like a porridge. And pretty soon those flax seeds and chia seeds will start to kind of get a little gelatinous. And eventually that will help it to stick together. We like to add some extra protein. Um, protein so important and kind of keeps those blood sugar levels more stable. Today I'm using Vega. This is a really nice all-in-one meal uh, mix. So this could function as a little more than just a snack bar. It could give you some more nutrition as a result. It's 20 grams of protein per scoop, and there are greens that are also added to this formula. Uh, otherwise, you could use whey protein, isolate, and add some greens to it. I'm going to add about 60 grams. And that looks like it's going to be using up the last of my container. That's good. Vega uses uh, Sancha Inchi and uh, several other vegetable proteins. So this is going to be also grain-free and gluten-free. So a lot of our other friends can eat it as well. So right now, just start to stir up the protein powder. You want to mix it in very well. We don't want a bunch of dry spots in there. So it's starting to look like this and sticking together almost like bread dough. So you know you're on the right track when it starts to stick together like that. Now if somebody does not have a coconut allergy, you can add a little bit of uh, coconut flour to it to stick it together a little bit more. I think by the look of it, the, um, the seeds are doing a really good job and it's the perfect balance of, of uh, moisture. So we'll give it a little bit more time to pull together like that. For a bit more sweetness, you could add stevia. Some people don't like the uh, aftertaste of some of those formulas. Uh, I don't mind it. 
Another nice one is Lohan fruit. So we're going to put just a little bit of Lohan in there to give it a touch more sweetness since uh, we have so many seeds in there. So two little scoops of Lohan. Uh, this one's by Jaro Formulas, Lohan Sweet. And just mix it in thoroughly. This is looking really good. I make mine in a dehydrator. So the benefit of this is that you keep the temperatures lower. You keep more of the um, enzymes intact. When you sprout seeds and nuts, you increase their digestibility tremendously. You also increase the protein content and the live enzymes that are so healthy, healthy for your body. So what we have for the Excalibur dehydrator, this is kind of a lower grade Excalibur, um, but it was around $200. It comes with trays like this, seven trays, and then there's uh, clear sheets that you can use to put wet material in like these bars that you're building here. So what you do is just glop a little bit on and spread it. Um, you may need to, uh, at some point, uh, get a little coconut oil or some oil on your hands and smash it down flat. First, we just uh, stick a little bit of little mountains on here and try to spread it out as best as you can. Um, it's nice to kind of tap it a little like this. Then you'll also take the bubbles out of it. And there's no real hard fast rule on the dehydration time. I keep it under a 120 degrees to try to keep more of those live enzymes and live food intact. And it may take a day, two days, sometimes even three days. But if you spread it thin enough, yet thick enough to get a decent amount of bars, it may just take some trial and error to find your perfect technique. But we will uh, come back for part two of this to talk about storage and uh, other recipes and other ideas for um, food bars that you can carry with you and, and that store uh, when they're cool. Thanks for watching.